Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Esan. We are going to work with our Carol program. The first problem that we were working with Carol, uh, we are going to work on that a little more. Um, so let's open Eclipse again. Uh, so if you remember correctly, this was the program that we wrote and it used to do this. So Carol starts facing east and it's initially at the bottom left corner of the grid. It walks along the street, picks up the beeper, moves to the end of the street, till the wall, move up the wall, turn right again, move one bit, uh, one step, uh, place the beeper and walk to the end of the wall. So that was our problem. And we solved it using the code that we wrote together. And this is what it did. However, if we look at this code carefully, this is a point where we uh, make Carol turn right. So imagine if we could make a new Carol command. So it initially had move, pick beeper, put beeper, turn left. But if there was a way we could make another new command like turn right, we could actually just put all these three uh, turn lefts into the turn right command. So whenever it reaches the turn right, it goes and executes these three lines and that's it. So what do I mean? So what I mean is, let's make a new command, turn right. And what it does is basically it turns left three times. So in order to make this new command, we cut all this part of the code. We take it up and what we can do is we can put void, turn right and just place all these three things here and then we could run it and uh, we can see that it still works so basically what happens is when the computer program starts this command uh, when the computer starts this code it goes initially to the run then it makes move, enters the run command and runs all these things sequentially one by one when it reaches this point turn right so it searches for the turn right command and it finds the turn right turn right command over here then it enters the turn right command and executes turn left three times and that's how it works it ends at this point after the three turns then it jumps out from this location to the end of this line and starts ex executing from move put beeper and whatnot so that's how it worked. However, if you look at this code carefully, you can see that basically we are doing turn left three times. So in the Java world, if you would like to turn left, if you if you would like to do something uh, repeatedly um, to a certain amount of time, so meaning that if you if you know that you want to do something repeatedly, like five number of times, here three number of times, in that case, what you can basically do is just remove all these three things and write for int i is equal to zero i less than the number of times you want to make this move so here in our case it's three and then i plus plus and then open bracket close bracket close bracket here and then in the middle you just put the amount of things that you want to do repeatedly so in our case it's turn left so what happens is basically through this command you turn left three times. So if you wanted to turn left four times, you would just put four over here, uh, but three is fine. So let's do turn left three times and let's run this command. Now you see there is no three turn lefts. There is only one turn left, but it is automatically uh, called three times using this construct, this for loop construct. So let's run this command and see if it works. Yeah, it does the same thing. So the code works fine. So what we can do, we can actually not only, uh, we can say that this is a new command. Uh, and for us to understand it better, we can say uh, turn right turns Carol right 
So basically it's another way of putting commands. We could have also used this turn right. So we could write this that turn right turns Carol right. Uh, we could either write the command comment this way or we could write the comment this way. In some cases you would prefer to write it this way but if you want to do something just like a one line comment in such case you could just use do forward slash which is these two things. However if you write, want to write multi line comments in that case it's preferred that you'd write it like this. So you see it's automatically extended. I'm just pressing enter 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 and whatever you write here is also part of the comment body so these are things that you will learn as you experiment with the ideas uh, so don't really need to worry about the details at the moment so what we want to understand is uh, turn right is working uh, and we have used a new idea which is a for loop mm, using for loop create turn right uh, okay so again just to stress for loop is only used only used when you know how many times you want to do something here we know that we want to turn left three times to actually mm, turn right so um and this is called for loop 